Hey everyone, this is PhD Natural Me and I have been tagged. So I'm going to go through the 10 questions that Fluffy Nomo posted and many of you are doing it and I can't wait to go through and see how you answered to your you answered your questions. Okay, I'm not going to edit any of this. I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll cut that out. Okay. First question, introduction, your name or names? My name is Zelda. Yes, just like the game, but it did not come from the game. It came from Dobie Gillis, Zelda from Dobie Gillis. If any of you are old enough and remember that show, you know what I'm talking about. My other name, Dr. Z, I get called that a lot because I earned my PhD in education with a specialization in nursing education and I get called Dr. Z and I like it. My age, I am 52 years old, 52 years young, that's what I'll say. I am originally from Brooklyn, New York and I currently live in Oregon. Oregon right now is my home, but you know, I live in an RV, so that may change. My starting weight before I started keto was 240 pounds, but before that, I've been on diet roller coasters for years, and I've even had bariatric surgery. I was over 350 pounds. And I lost about 100 pounds, and then I started gaining pounds back and forth, back and forth. When I started keto, I was 240 pounds, and that was about six months, five months ago. And my current weight is 198. And you know, I must really love you guys for me talking about my weight. I am in Wonderland. Anything in the one... 99 199.9 is in the 100 range is in wonderland boogie wonderland okay stop all right that was my starting weight i mean that is my current weight i don't have a goal weight because this is a lifestyle for me at this point this has been different than anything else that i have been on because I have incorporated it into my life. I've never stuck with any type of nutritional lifestyle change for more than a couple of months and this is going into its sixth month for me and I feel much better weight wise. I'm not sleeping all the time. I just just want to nod off all the time. I feel I feel really good. So, and there are other benefits, but not the video. When and why did you decide to start your weight loss journey? I started it because I saw people that I was working with losing weight and not looking sick with their weight loss. And I wanted, I wanted that for me. I was tired. My knees were killing me all the time. Do they still hurt? Yeah. But I feel better with eating this way. And that's what started me. That was my motivation. Something I love about my city and hometown. I love the parks, the trees. They're just so beautiful. You can turn and I'm not too far away from the, the coast. I'm a little bit far away from the coast, but I'm not that far away. And I'm not that far away from Crater Lake, which is absolutely beautiful. Just the parks, the beauty, the nature. It's really nice. Okay, question eight. What would you say to inspire someone new looking to lose weight? I would say you can do this. There's no reason for you not to be able to do this. You know why? Because there's no stamp on you. 
that says that you cannot. That is why. There is a person on YouTube that I find at times very critical of those that are not following the ketogenic lifestyle to the T. You need to enjoy life. This should be an incorporation into your life. Not where it's going to flip your whole life upside down. It may feel that way, but it shouldn't be that way. So to take this one moment at a time, I would tell you, take it one moment at a time, one meal at a time, one decision at a time. You don't have to make a six month plan right now. Just make the next meal. That's what I would say. And keep going with that. That's what I would say. When you reach that stone that trips you, how do you pick yourself up? I've reached several stones. And what I do is I pray. I reach out to my family, my husband. And I reach out to my keto family for support. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people. You never want to surround yourself with anyone who will discourage you. Why do that? There are always naysayers. There's always naysayers. There's always someone who will try to kick you when you're down. Don't go around those people especially when you're having a difficult time. You surround yourself with like-minded people. And an open heart, I kind of shared a little bit. Do things that make you happy. And when you're not happy, do something about it. Don't just sit and not do anything. There are people to support you, to encourage you, to lift you up, to give you that kind word, to give you the one, two, three or four things that you may need to get you going again. Those moments will happen. They will happen. And it's okay. Being prepared for it. Preparing yourself. I am big on preparation. I like to prepare meals or have food available so that I won't go off kilter. Be prepared. Prepare for the moment when something challenging with your lifestyle is going to happen. You're going to go to meetings. You're going to go to maybe a party or you're going to go out for the weekend. The weekend happens and people and food are going to be around. Prepare. Eat before you go. Drink plenty of water. Have a water bottle. If, if people are drinking, get a glass that looks kind of funny and ask them to give you a little bit of orange juice in that, that uh, cup or a little bit of apple juice. Make it look a little like if you're having a drink, if you're feeling uncomfortable with just drinking water or, or, or something. Look, there's my New York. <laughs> prepare. Prepare. And just try to think through situations that you know that you're going to go through. They will happen and it will be okay. You will get through this. Stay healthy, everyone, and keep eating whatever it is that makes you happy. Bye.